everyone and welcome to English with Nasrin. Today's video is about a web-based uh, clicker tool which is called Go Soapbox. It's an amazing website and what's really nice about this website is that it's a tool that students and teachers can use in the classroom to keep the lesson more engaging and to make the activities a little bit more interactive. So if you go to Go Soapbox, you would see that there is also a possibility for you to actually have a quick tour and they'll show you uh, all the things that you are available on the website and how you can sign up for a free account and how you could also join an event. And an event is basically what your students will have to do in order to participate and the things that you've created for them so they would have to go with their mobile devices or other smartphone devices available as well. If you're accessing it for the first time, you need to sign up, especially if you're going to be using it as a teacher where you want to create an event. And because I already have an account, so I'm just going to sign in. All right, so now let's see what an account looks like once you create your own account and you sign in. It's important to note that the free account will allow you to have up to 30 students per event at one time. If you need more than 30 students, you can definitely upgrade your uh, setting features and work with up to 400 students. But for now, I don't really think that we need 400 students. You could work with 30 students and that would be enough for you for one event. Once you create your account, you would see the different things that the event will have. For example, the different quizzes you could create or polls or discussions that you can do with your students just by hitting the create button and it'll keep your creations locked. So students cannot see them until you unlock them. And you can create, like I said, all these different things. But my favorite thing really about Go Soapbox Com is the social Q&A, which is not automatically turned on as a default uh, option. Using this option might be very good, so you might want to consider turning it on. It, it enables your students to create and type in questions, and then they could actually vote on which questions are more important and they would like to discuss uh, throughout the lesson. And I think this is really good because it gives you insight on what your students are struggling with or things that they uh, all agree on that the teacher should uh, talk about and reflect upon. And this is really, really uh, something that I really like to use with uh, Go Soapbox. So if you would like to moderate this event, you can see the access code that students will need in order to log into your event. And then you can see some of the settings. But if you go to enable and disable features, this is where you can see all the different things that you have available. The first time you create an event, your social Q&A uh, option is turned off. So you might want to go in there and turn it on to have it activated and include a social Q&A in your uh, event that you have created. It's very easy to create an event. So if you want to create an event, you just go and click on create. I'm gonna show you an event that I, ha that I have already created. And this is the event that I created. It's called Getting to Know Everyone. As you can see, these are the different things that um, automatically are shown once you enter your event. These are the things that I have prepared for the event. It includes quizzes, polls, discussions, and also Q&A as well. I'm going to talk about each and every one of them. But before I do that, I would really like to talk about an amazing feature this website uh, offers. It's called a confusion barometer tool. And with this tool, students are able to toggle their status from getting it to confused. And I think this is really, really cool and nice. So teachers would get instant updates from their students regarding their understanding of the process of the lesson. Okay, so how does it work? In order to uh, make this event possible, what I need to do is I need to click on moderate this event here. And then this is the access code that my students need to know in order to join an event. They don't need to sign up uh, for Go Soapbox. They just need to enter with a code. So it's as easy as that. So let me show, show you an example. 
So students click on join event and then they type in the code number that was given to them and they're basically in and this is what your students will get to see so i'm going to access go soapbox as a student i'm going to type in the code and i join the event as a student and of course i'm required to type in my name so it asks me for my name i type in my name I'm just going to type in nas because my teacher name is nasrin rabi and once I enter as NAS, a student, this is what I will get to see as a student. Okay, so now I have entered and this is what I get to see. I get to see the quizzes that are available uh, with this code number, which is called all of, the quiz called All About Me. And as you could see, the student could only access uh, the quiz part because Within the teacher account, this is the only one that I have unlocked as Nasrin Rabi, the teacher. Now, if I go back and unlock all the other ones, then this is what my students would be able to see. So for now, they could only see the section of quizzes, and this is what they get to work with. So let's go through the quizzes. So I have questions like, who am I? Uh, students get to write things about themselves and so on. Next part of the quiz is also multiple choice where they get to select a kind of movie they like to watch. And they need to mention something that they cannot live without or things that make them happy. Or if they would choose any animal, for example, they want, then what would it be? And they need to explain why. Well, I typed in the animal bird. I would like to be a bird because it has wings and with wings I can fly. And then they need to write one goal that they would really like to achieve throughout this year. Now, once the student is done with all the parts of the quiz, they get to review their answers and then uh, add a final submission. Now, if they are confused and they don't understand, again, as I said, the uh, they get to click on confused and then the teacher would see that they are confused and they could always switch back and forth between I get it or I am confused and the teacher would get instant feedback. I'm going to activate the next part of the event which is called polls and my students get to answer this question today I feel and they get to select what feeling they feel and again they would get a visual of how other students in the classroom feel and here the teacher could stop and have a short discussion and talk about their feelings um, the next section of the event is discussions and here I have a question that is open for discussion where it, uh, students have to type in and write about uh, their experience uh, of being back to school so far and they need to reflect upon their experience and here they need to share um, their feelings, their experiences and I think this is a really nice place for discussion where sometimes students face the same uh, concerns, worries or uh, happy experiences and, and challenges and so on. So this is a nice way to get to know everyone in the classroom that maybe they would find similarities, differences amongst one another. And this is also a, a nice opening uh, activity at the beginning of the year to really get to know uh, who your uh, classmates are. And the last part of the event is called social Q&A. And here students get to type in questions and ask questions about anything related to the event uh, created here. And I think this is one of the most amazing features this website offers. And once they have typed in the questions, the teacher uh, gets to have a look at the different questions that the students have typed in and then decide with the students to vote on which things they would like to discuss or further discuss or uh, talk about or uh, answer. And they could delete the the ones that are less important and I think this is a really really good feature of the website because we don't always have uh, enough time to cover up all the questions that students have but we could uh, generate amongst our students the importance of dialogue and uh, discussion. And at any part or stage of the lesson, the teacher gets to see who is online and who is taking part of the event. And I think this is also uh, a very nice feature of the website, especially if uh, teachers are teaching online. Um, so this is again another feature that is really, really good for teachers. And if you would like to duplicate or make a copy of this same event you have created, it's so very easily possible. All you need to do is click on moderate event and then you click on duplicate and 
once you click on duplicate, you have another copy of the event you have created without the answers that the students have typed in. Now, if you go back to the previous one uh, that you have created before and you didn't finish, for example, the whole event within one lesson, you could automatically go back to that event and all the answers that were saved or typed in by students are there. So you can pick up from any section or part of the lesson that you have stopped and okay so this is it regarding go soap box i really hope you found it uh interesting and uh you would like to give it a try in the classroom i promise it's really worth it um and it's really easy uh to work around and really really easy to create it's not complicated at all and it's very very uh interactive at the same time uh, with students and the teacher so all the best and thank you for watching for more interesting videos like this please make sure you follow my facebook page or subscribe to my youtube channel english with nasrin thank you